What's up everybody? Mike from Northeast Precision. So today uh, we are going to rock out some ammo slash accuracy testing for the Scholar 17S. Uh, there she is in all her glory. As you can see, uh, we got about like 18 to 20 inches of snow yesterday slash last night. Uh, so this should be fun. Uh, today for ammo, uh, my basic standard is going to be the arms core 168 grain uh, match uh, I have a good bit of that and it's not a terrible price uh, so that's kind of my standards because I have a whole bunch of it we're going to be doing the federal gold medal match 168 grain Sierra match king the Hornady super performance also 168 sig 168 grain open tip match elite performance Barnes TTSX 168 match Federal Gold Medal Match, 175 grain, Sierra Match King. Hornady Match, 168. Remington Premier, 175 grain, Sierra Match King. Nosler, 168 grain match, and the Federal Gold Medal Match, 185 burger. So, the uh, score is uh, a 1 in 12 twist. So, uh, I think the 185s might be a little heavy for it, but I'm pretty confident it'll still shoot them all right. Uh, but we're going to see what it likes the best. So, stay tuned. So, first up, uh, we're going to get sighted in with the arm score. Got a 168 grain match. awesome. I actually blew the tape off one of the uh, strips of ammo. So uh, we're gonna finish tightening it in and then we'll come back and get to the meat. All right, first up is going to be the federal gold medal match 168 grain.
Next is the SIG 168 grain Elite Performance Match. Next up, 168 grain Hornady Superformance. We got Hornady again. This is going to be the regular match 168 grain. Uh, these do not have the heat tip, whereas the Superformance does. Similar to the ELDMs. Uh, I'm gonna shoot that one again. Uh, I'm gonna take the blade on that one. I think I did pull two of those, so I think it's unfair to the Hornady. So we're gonna shoot that one again. All right. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, I'm gonna take the blame. I think I pulled probably two on the Hornady uh, match. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot that one again. Next up is the uh, Barnes TTSX 168 grain. Uh, this one kind of threw me for a loop. These are actually in SIG cases. Um, so I thought somehow I switched ammo, but no, it is the Barnes Pellet Award tip. Just the tip.
Uh, next up is going to be the last of the 168 grain. This is the Nosler 168 grain match. And uh, any of you guys with the SCAR 17S, uh, if you, and the 16 I guess too, uh, if you haven't done the Geisley trigger, you're really cutting this gun short. Um, to be honest, for a $4,000 rifle, the stock trigger is garbage. Um, but this Geisley is beautiful. Just like any other other trigger, you get a super nice crisp break. Uh, it is a two-stage. Um, install isn't actually terrible. Uh, not quite as easy as an AR-15, but still pretty easy. Uh, but like I said, if you're not with the Geisley trigger or something better than the stock one, you're really cutting this thing short. Uh, we are back. Next up is going to be the Nosler 175 green. Uh, got a little confused on the target. You guys see it, there's a whole bunch of dots, and I haven't been tracking it super well. So, Alright, and the Nosler. Absolutely pulled that. Next up is going to be the Remington 175 grain premier match. At least is going to be the 185 green uh, federal gold medal match. Uh, slightly hectic, um, but uh, we're gonna shoot a couple more groups for a couple of them Because uh, I have some more slots down here at the bottom. So uh, kind of our best performers were uh, The Nossler was pretty solid federal gold medal match 175 
Uh, this is the first group with the Hori 168. I definitely pulled two, uh, and it did tighten up a little bit better on the second group. So we already got two out of that one. So uh, the SIG is probably in the next top couple in the Federal Gold Medal Match 168. Um, they're typically, at least for the Federal Gold Medal Match, it's typically uh, kind of one of the gold standards for match ammo. So we're going to run that one again. All right. So for the elimination round, I guess you could call it, uh, first up we got the 175 grain metal gold metal match. So we got the 168 green federal gold medal match. Uh, again, this was kind of like the gold standard for the industry, I would say. Um, a lot of comparisons end up coming back to this one to, to compete against. Next up is going to be the Nosler 168. the last one. Uh, Alright, last contender for the uh, second round. Uh, it's going to be the SIG 168. I did flip-flop the Federal 168 and the SIG 168 uh, on the target. Uh, so, I'll make sure to update that down there, but... So, results, uh, not to say all over the board, but we are all over the board. Um, let's do a quick pan so you guys can see all the groups. I'm going to break down this final group.
groups. All right, so the federal gold medal match, 175, we had a one and an eighth and a two and an eighth group. Uh, the Nosler 168 performed pretty well, uh, one and a quarter and two and three quarters. The SIG 168 green elite performance, uh, one and seven eighths and two and three eighths. Federal gold medal match 168 was at a two inch group and a three inch group. And that's kind of the industry standard uh, for match ammo, I guess you could say. Uh, and then last, the Hornady match, we just kind of shot two of those because uh, I blew the first group. Uh, we had a two inch and then a three and three eighths. Uh, again, that three and three eighths was, so that was this group here. Um, I blew that group and the second one came in at two inches. So, um, and realistically, we could do a little bit better um, once we get rid of some of the snow. Uh, and get some better glass on the scar. Uh, we're definitely going to shoot some more. See if we can bring some of these back out. We'll shoot the uh, best ones again. Uh, definitely going to go prone, uh, but I got to get some other parts on the scar. Uh, new forend, new bipod, uh, and probably a stronger optic. Uh, right now we're using the right on uh, one to eight, which has performed pretty well. Um, but it's got I do have a couple little gripes on it, so we're going to do a review on that eventually. Uh, but for a solid like mid range, uh, they go for like 550, I believe. Um, so not crazy expensive, but not cheap. Um, but thanks for sticking around. Uh, there's a woodpecker. Uh, I'm gonna go dump some ammo through the scar. Thanks for sticking around, guys. <laughs>